Hi, I'm Daniel from Tusic Internet Solutions, also known as the iJungle Boy. We're the creators of Tusexy, the most popular plugin for structured content and content management on DNN. And now with version 11, we would love to just give you some very basic getting started tutorials for creators. So these are the people that create awesome solutions, not the ones adding pictures and texts to it. So you will be creating the tools with which other people will create content. And in the very first part, we're just gonna create a Hello World app. It's gonna be the foundation for what we're gonna build afterwards. And if you're stuck on anything, you need checklists, you wanna watch this video again, or you wanna see the next videos, or in case you have trouble setting up DNN, the very basic way and just installing to sexy, then please just follow this link here so you have an idea, there you will find help for anything that you need. And in this tutorial, we're just going to look at basics like apps, what's a view, what's a template, HTML, the code editor, and I'll show you what's happening behind the scenes. So let's just get started. Here we have a DNN 9.6 running with 2Sexy11 installed. You can see I'm in edit mode, and I'm just going to add an app. This installation doesn't have any apps installed on it yet, and this is why it's going to ask us to install apps. No, we don't want to do that. Um, if you already have apps running, you don't see the screen. So I'm going to show you what that would look like. So let's just pretend you just had this app added here. And I'm going to close this edit mode just because it's faster. And again, we don't, we'll pretend this is all that you see. In this situation, you would use this flipping rotating toolbar to go to this menu here and go to manage apps at this place. Here is where you see all the apps that are installed on this DNN portal, because each portal might have different apps. So as you can see, we just have some basic content installed, but nothing exotic yet. Now we're going to create our new app just like this. Now an app is like a package that contains everything we built. It allows us to export it from here and import it somewhere else, reuse it, etc. And we're going to call this the Creators 101. And in our example, we're gonna make a bucket list. So that's like a list of things that you wanna do before you die. And as we build this, we're gonna add like pictures of things you experienced, add albums, galleries, and connect data together. So we're just gonna call this bucket list. And because it's for 2Sexy11, let's just call it 11. Now, you could also use spaces and hyphens in the app name, but we don't recommend it for some advanced use cases. So I'm just gonna do it in the best practice way. Now we just created an app and it's still empty. You all can also see the version is 001. Let's just close this and go back to this page that we're on. Now, again, we have an empty page, nothing happened yet. Now let's say that here we would like to show the bucket list app. Now, as you can see, again, we just get a spinning wheel. The reason is there's nothing in this yet. So let's go and configure this thing. And as you can tell, there's no data in here and nothing. And the first thing we need to do, aside from maybe adding data later on, is we want to create a view. A view says what output do we want on the page. So we're going to create a view. And we're just going to call this introduction. Because later on, this view will show more than just hello world. Later on, it's going to show things like, hello, thank you for getting this app. This is what's going to happen. It's called an introduction. And as you can tell, there are no template files yet. So a template file is a thing that contains HTML and placeholders. Now you might ask, well, if you have a template file, what's the view? So you could have the same template file and configured for different use cases. Then you'd have multiple views with the same template file. Now we're just going to call this introduction and save that. We now created an introduction CSHTML. That means it's a razor file. And we're going to use it in this view that we also call introduction. Now we created it. There's a lot of information here which you'll start to learn to, to understand later on. We can also edit the template file from here, but we're gonna do it from the page just so you see the output. So let's close this again. We're back to the view here. And now we can say we would like to show the introduction right here. As you can tell, it just says put your content here because there's not much that we did yet. Now, 
As you saw before, we have the spinning wheel menu. It flipped over to the other side now because the template actually has a placeholder for that. And let's go and edit the code of this view. So we're in here. We're just going to say, hello world. And we're also already gonna say bucket list for creators. Now I'm gonna hit control S to save, but I could also hit this button. The code editor doesn't close when you save because very often you'll make changes. Go back to the uh, page that you wanna see. You'll hit refresh. And as you can see, this is the hello world. So that's actually all I wanted to show you in the very first tutorial. Now, in the next minute or so, I'm just gonna show you what happened behind the scenes so you have a better understanding of what's actually happening here. Now, I mentioned that an app is something like, um, like a container which has everything inside it. This is the um, Portal Tutorials 101 that I just created. It has TooSexy, and in the TooSexy folder, there's this Creators 101 Bucket List 11. You can also see the introduction CSHTML, and I could also edit it here if I wanted to. It has the same effect. Now, just to complete this whole thing, let us also add an app icon to this folder. And it just has to have the right name. And if I add this and I would now go to change view or app, you'll notice it now has a wonderful little icon there. And that helps me and your users to actually detect this app and know what the differences are. So that was the very first step. Thank you for watching. Remember to check out this link here because if you're stuck on anything or you wanna watch the next part of the tutorial, this is where you'll find it. Thank you, Daniel Mettler for to sexy and the DNN community.